going at the right angle. I'm going to get this. this. Ah, ha, ha. Right, of course. Do it like that. Sometimes these answers are really, really simple. Now I've got bouncy stuff. So, come down here. Blue, ding, bang, and bang. There we go. Sorry that took so long. Yes, absolutely true. Absolutely true. Anyone that's seen my, half of my designs when I try to complicate things. Um, right. Blue, orange, through. Yeah. That's better. There we go. Okay, what have we got here? We've got this one is in a glass container. But I oh actually I think I know what to do here. If we do that and we do that. Well, that seemed to work. Now all we got to do is just catch up with the thing. Hey, come back out! <laughs> gotcha! I'm seeing a slight problem with this plan here. Aha, uh -huh, and I see the solution to this slight problem with this plan here. Yeah. There we go. Right, and now we need to get up to where it says exit. Okay, well that's just fairly obvious what we do now, isn't it? Alright, so... Okay, let's get some gel here. There we go, and up we go. Into there, and now we need to get that. Off of there, have I got that lined up right? No, I haven't. How about there? That'll do the trick. There we go, and out we go. Yep. I don't think there's any doubt that Cave Johnson is certifiably insane. Melody Flower, I'm starting to think that most things uh, look a little bit like a, a, a sea lantern to you. Uh, what's worrying me is some of the things around. So, how's it going tonight? Um, how's it going tonight? No problems. I don't see anyone complaining. So I'm taking it the chat is all right and the the, the portals the, the game's not buffering too much. The fact you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. Oh, we're, we're done. We're going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready. So as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Yeah, and congratulations guys, we now know when that particular joke started, and it was 1958, apparently. So, there we go, that's the end of this particular set of tests, by the looks of it. 
No, we just need to work out how to get out of here. So let's find ourselves. Oh, it's a bit of white. Always, oh, let's just put a portal on that just for the sheer hell of it. And hopefully, there'll be somewhere we can find a portal through to. Not seeing it immediately, but I'm sure we'll find it. That light bulb's working. That light bulb's been working since 1958. Look at that. That's amazing. Let's go back here. She is retarded or a robot. That. Ooh. The year I was born, 1971. Let's go over there, shall we? Yep, this is where we want to go. Pump station beta. There's a distinct lack of cake in this game. Well, I think it's because the cake is an untruth. Up there. Okay, yes, I think I see what we need to do here. That's not quite it. Just go through like this. Whoop, there we go, right. If we drop down there, ah, and how do we get a portal up there? Because I'm willing to bet we need to jump across. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm willing to bet this is what we need to do. Right, so. Right, that's the blue one, so we want to place an orange one. Okay, let's do this. Nope, missed. Is this bouncy enough for you? There we go, and across. Oh, starting to get seasick doing that. Look guys, okay, you might not recognize this, but this is what we once called a computer. It looks like an Apple II. It's an aperture too, by the looks of it. Hey, hey. So let's turn that one on. Let's turn that one on. And let's move onwards. All right. Yeah, me too. Great balls in the sky. See what this control room's all about, shall we? Oh, uh, okay. Actually, that's a good question. How many people did like that? I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Protesting? <laughs> right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. 
You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Well, there you go, guys. It looks like 13 years have passed since the uh, the first set of tests. Now, before then, we were they were hiring astronauts, and now they're offering $60 to the homeless in order to do the testing. How the mighty have fallen. And that's what Cave Johnson looks like now. Let's have a look around here. Test subject waiting area. Take a number. <laughs> $60! The riches can be yours. Admittedly, in 1971, $60 was a fairly hefty amount of money, but wasn't quite going to buy you a yacht. Remember, our electrical supervisor of CC, OSHA inspector, Department of Energy inspector, an accountant, a police officer. Oh dear. Yep. Looks like their uh, testing has got not got any more legal. Let's have a quick run around here and see if we can see anything fun. No. No. Okay, let's move on. I noticed there was another floor in this place. I wouldn't mind having to look up there as well. Okay, so that actually seems fairly easy to get to. We'll sure we work that one out. Right, there's a platform here that we're probably going to want to raise. And, aha, right, okay, so if we go there. You get. Not there. That'll do it, though. Okay, and. That gives us a door over here. I just clip. Oh, look at this! I'm just clipping through this uh, desk. Ooh, what's this? Vitrified. Mm. Orianus, hey. Anyone's played um, Half-Life 2, the Borealis was the ship that um, Half-Life 2 Episode 3 was probably going to be played on. Uh, I've always taken that as a hint that it's never, ever, ever going to happen. If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us. So, hang in there. <laughs> the average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment with all skin types. So try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it. So can we not just pay sixty dollars and leave? No, I don't think it quite works that way, Gertie Simmons. But uh, you just want to get onto the turrets, don't you? Right, anything further we can do down here? No, no, I don't, don't see anything. That all looks blocked up. And okay, that's our little hidden room there by the looks of it. Gosh. These computers are making me feel a bit nostalgic. Alright, okay, let's get out of here. Alright.
Okay, now I'm willing to bet if we go down here. Yeah. That will get us not quite where we wanted to go. So we actually want to do it there. Fair enough. Put that one there, and let's try that again. Okay, that knocked us on. Okay, right. Let's try that one last time, hopefully. See if we can get the angle exactly right on this blue here. That there. E and there we go. Control room. Oh, hi. Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh. Ow. Ow. No, wait. Just kill it and we'll call things even between us. No hard feelings. Please get it off me. Well, what do you What do you think? Should we save her? Should we save her or should we just leave? Well, the game's giving us no choice, but yeah. I'm willing to bet Shell is thinking, you know, what did you say about my thighs, bitch? Yeah, this this is the point where Shell needs to give in to her inner, inner element, you know. What did you say about me, you bitch? Eh. <laughs> 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 right, let's raise that platform. Right, okay, so chances are we're probably going to want to get back up the top there again and do the whole jumpy through loops thing trying to get onto there so let's do that again and then let's put that as high as we can let's see how that takes us e thud and we're on to the 1971 and yes I think everyone has a little inner Ellen yeah, that, I mean, look at that. That is so 70s, that, uh, that logo. That's wonderful. I think you should be lucky that you don't have an inner Damien. Yes. Hmm. GLaDOS, Chipper, Baker, Freiherr, Eater.
just roughly how long um few more chapters few more chapters the testing area is just up ahead the quicker you get through the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks carolyn are the compensation vouchers ready yes, yes sir, sir mr johnson. johnson why did i just who is that what the hell is going on here? right that is a very important clue about what happened okay we have new gel the new gel this stuff is real fun it makes you run fast okay that's the wrong one we've got there push button we okay right so if we put one there, blue one there. Okay, and now. Okay, probably helped if I put it through the right hole, but never mind. Go do that again. We now got that ramp there. So we can go down here and speed. Right, so now actually what we want to do is get some uh, um, red juice here so we can jump over there with more speed. So if we go back through here, ah, and then how are we going to get how are we going to get all this done? Okay, I think I'm seeing how we're going to do this. All right, so we go back through here, and we put the orange portal up the top there. Uh, we drop down, and we put the orange portal there. We push the button. See you, Jess May. So blue is boing and red is Mario Kart speed zoomy thing. Absolutely. I couldn't have described it better myself. Wee. And now we have 20% more wee. Wee. And guess what we have to do this time. That's right. Exactly the same picking thing we did last time. With a slight change, looks like we've got to do all this again, but it's not really much of a problem because we're going super fast. Eee. Like that, and then orange button down there, and we do it again. Just waiting for the turrets. You're you're a, a person of a singular mind, Gertie Simmers. You are a person of a singular mind. I'm I'm impressed. You know, I've 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 never really seen somebody with a completely singular mind who has ovaries. I'm 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 really quite amazed by that. Oh, I actually didn't need to do that. That looks good. Let's just go like this. There we go. Now all we need to do is work out how to get back. And that's a case of going like that. And then going like that. And now we've got that, so we can put it there. Fingers crossed. I wonder if we can get extra speed by starting from here. Wee. Okay. So we need to get up there. 
which means we're probably going to end up doing this the other way around. So. Mm. Yep. Okay, so we drop through here. Let's, actually, let's take that off. Nope, let's put that back on. I'm paranoid about that. And speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Let me out. Okay, probably have to do that again. 